On Black Friday, I finally decided to pick up a virtual reality headset, the Oculus Quest 2. It wasn't on sale or anything, I just thought it would be easier if I did all my spending in one day. Now, I was never all too sold on VR. I had played a couple things and thought it was cool enough, but not really something I wanted to dive into. That was until my friend introduced me to 2MD Football Unleashed. I am not kidding you, this game sold me on the Quest, which I know sounds like total crap as this isn't even a heavy hitter on the system, but it was crazy fun and exactly what I was looking for in a virtual reality experience, and here's why. Starting up the game, you're thrown into the locker room and can do a multitude of things, the main event being the drawing board. Each direction on the stick represents a play, so eight total, and the game gives you full control over what each play is. You can draw the entire playbook for yourself, which is awesome. The marker can be a pain to use, and it sucks that the eraser wipes the entire play and not just a single route, but it does the job and allows infinite possibilities. You can also change your team logo and color scheme here. I chose the androids because all the other mascots suck, and the red and blue color scheme is for the best team in the NFL, and if you're wondering what team that is, Alexa, what is the best team in the NFL? That's an easy one. It's obviously the Buffalo Bills. Her words, not mine. Before you place the helmet on your head and start the match, you gotta choose your home field song, and if you pick any song besides Championship, you pick the wrong song. It's pretty cheesy, but damn is it good! Everything now is at stake. You gotta have what it takes. Get on the grind. Take the field. Get him in line. You are a star. It's your moment to shine. You call the shots. Give all that you got. Even you know you're defeating the odds. This is your time to get hype for the crowd. Run on the field. There's no turning back now. We finally made it. You gotta play it. What you created, time for a celebration We finally made it, you gotta play it What you created, time for a celebration Marching down the field, marching down the field 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 Only got two minutes Let's get into the actual game. You're thrown in the quarterback's shoes down a touchdown with two minutes left to play, and as the title of the game implies, you've got to drive your team down the field and win the game. Before you snap the ball, you pick a play simply by pressing a direction on one of the thumbsticks, and when you find the one you like, you press the trigger on your throwing hand to snap the ball. From here, you can scramble using the thumbsticks to either pick up yards or escape pressure, hand off the ball, and of course, throw the ball. Swing your arm as you would to throw and let go of the trigger to release the ball. The physics of the throw definitely takes some getting used to, but once you do, you can get pretty accurate with it. But if you don't like how it feels, at all, you can adjust that in training mode, which is a nice thing to have. It is so much fun drawing up plays, watching them come to life and throwing a dime to one of your receivers. It feels so good. When you score a touchdown, you go to the bonus round and throw balls through rings or hit moving players to get additional points. It's nothing special, but it can always be skipped if you aren't feeling it. After that, you move on to the next round and face a team with a slightly better defense, and by round 5, the amount of points you're down also increases, as well as the defensive skills. And each turnover results in more and more time off the clock. It gets very difficult, but that just makes winning even more gratifying. The game is far from perfect though. The receivers can be really bad. They drop easy passes, run the route wrong, go to block instead of catching the ball, and slow down when the ball was ahead of them and could have been easily caught if they had ran. It can be very frustrating. And once they reach the end of the drawn route, they run straight ahead, which is brutal when you're trying to throw a quick slant route or pick up a quick 10 yards on the outside. The pocket isn't very good either. The first couple rounds you're going to sit there, but by round 3 or 4, you get a couple seconds max before you've got to roll out to complete the pass. It's especially annoying on Hail Mary attempts, when you just want to send the ball 50 yards downfield and cross your fingers, but the line falls apart on the snap, it's so annoying! And sometimes the controller decides to shank a pass here and there, but it's a budget title for the Oculus, so that occasional clunkiness is to be expected, though you'd be surprised by how little it happens. Same with all of those things I've mentioned, they rarely ruin the experience you have playing the game. For the most part, everything works great. The only thing I think should be added to is the practice mode. Rather than making that a target challenge, they should allow you to practice newly drawn up plays with your offense. Just seeing them sketched out on the board makes it hard to tell what they will look like in-game. You could allow the player to run the play, then turn to the drawing board, make revisions, and do some trial and error, which would allow even more strategy and play designing, and I think it would work really well. But that's just something I would like to see added. It's remarkable as is. It's such an enjoyable game and exactly what I was looking to get out of virtual reality. Right now, those super realistic and in-depth experiences most people want from VR are still a ways away, at least for people who don't have thousands of dollars to spend on high-end VR equipment and a gaming computer. For me, a newbie to the world of VR, the standalone Quest 2 is perfect. No external equipment required, no room setup, and a very simple interface. I'm more looking for fun, arcade-like experiences to play in VR. Those super immersive worlds are awesome, don't get me wrong, but I'll be honest, my eyes hurt after playing this thing for more than an hour. It's very straining, and I think short, pick-up-and-play experiences are a great way to ease into this kind of thing. And 2MD Football Unleashed offers just that. If you're not too big on football, you obviously shouldn't play this, but if you enjoy watching it or playing it, you owe it to yourself to buy this game. It's only 15 bucks, which is a very fair price for a VR game like this, and you'll for sure get your money's worth out of it. And with cold weather coming, instead of throwing on your coat, going outside and freezing your ass off just to get some reps in, throw on your VR headset and march down the field, which is exactly what I'm gonna go do. 
Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please leave a like, and if you want to see more and help the channel grow, you should definitely subscribe. It's free for you and means a lot to me. What are your thoughts on the game? Are you considering the purchase after watching this? Let me know down in the comments. Also, if you've got any VR recommendations for me, please drop those down in the comments too. I just picked up my Quest 2 and I'm looking to get new stuff to play. If you've got any feedback or recommendations for me, feel free to drop those in the comments too. I take everything you guys say into consideration. Thank you. Thanks again for watching everyone, I'll catch you in the next one.